back to Living 808. I'm going to wait for the music to end. All right. Over the last couple of months, we've been telling you about the Share Care movement and how it's helping our community. Now, this social giving campaign is a collaboration between Share Care, Blue Zones Project, and HMSA. Now, we are learning more about that today. We welcome in Craig Petty from Share Care and also joining us, Momi Akana from Keiki Okaaina. Keiki Okaaina is KHON2's nonprofit partner for the Laulima Giving Program. So, welcome both of you to Living 808. Thank you. Um, Craig, why don't we start with you. Remind everybody about the Share Care movement and how it's making an impact in our community. Yeah, so we're, we're actually on our, our three-week countdown of the Share Care movement, and it's really our effort between HMSA and Share Care to give people in Hawaii the opportunity to give back to local organizations in the community. So it's really easy. Everybody can just download Share Care, Take the real age test, which is just a simple health survey that tells you the real age of the body you're living in versus your calendar age. And then we donate money to great organizations in our community that are giving back and making our community better, like La Lima. Okay, so this is so easy. You know, so often people out there say, oh, I wish I could do more to help, you know, different families this holiday season. I wish I could do this, but I don't have money. You know, a lot of people feel, oh, I don't have enough. How can I give to others? All they have to do, and everybody has a phone, all they have to do is download the ShareCare app, right? It's a free app. Correct. Take the real age test. John and I did it. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't take a lot of time. And just by doing that, you will donate for every person that takes a test. Right? Yes, we donate five dollars for every person who learns their real age to these great organizations. Okay, this is wonderful. I mean, so so generous and so easy. Um, Momi, tell us about the Laulima Giving Program and and what you guys do. So the Laulima Giving Program has been supporting. Hawaii families uh, for years now and not just during the Christmas season which is you know the season that we love to work with them the most but throughout the year um, we've given to people for all kinds of different reasons uh, it could be your family uh, has just had some kind of terrible catastrophic illness or dad's lost his job or mom's a single mom and they just cut off the electricity whatever it is um, we're able to help throughout the year because of the generous donations yeah. that we get during this season. I'm glad you mentioned that because I'm very familiar with La Lima and so I know that it's not just a Christmas time uh, collection drive. I mean you guys are helping families year round, right? Of course with La Lima uh, Drive and the La Lima Telethon right around the corner. Um, the money's raised from this share care movement. Can you tell us how, you know, where that will go and how it will be spent? Well, it'll one of the things that we like to say is none of it is used for storage or um, barely any of it is used for staff. It goes straight to the families. For instance, uh, just as a, a real quick example, um, we got a call just recently that someone's house had burnt down and we were able to send them money. We were able to send and we send quite a nice chunk of money to Maui to help the flood victims. We've sent a couple of containers, 20 footers over to Hilo to help the people displaced because of the volcano, containers to Kauai. We've really been able to send out a lot of things. Yeah. Um, and using that money to leverage donations. There are a lot of great organizations out there, a lot of not, you know, wonderful nonprofits doing a lot for the community. What makes La Lima different? Well, the thing that we like to say is that there are people who are always going to be able to get um, special um, help throughout the year from whatever organization, but we like to help the people who don't normally get that. It's the working, uh, the people who are working and, you know, you're going along just fine and then something happens yeah. and you have to stop your job to stay with your child who's sick or you lose your job. And the thing we really love is that next year, those are going to be the people who are going to come and support our families. Sure, I've seen that firsthand. Uh, it's Working Gap Group. It's people who do not qualify for assistance, right, from state or federal agencies. Um, so thank you both very much for being being here and, and Craig, Thank it's you. always great seeing you. Uh, this is just one of several nonprofits that will be benefiting from the Share Care movement, and we've been able to highlight uh, different ones on the show. So thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for everything that you're doing. Coming up after the break, we're going to wrap things up and tell you what we have in store for you tomorrow when Living 808 returns.